Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday here. We are trying to get some stuff accomplished. The girls are working inside to organize, maybe get some primer up on my uh, horrendously bright yellow wall. I don't have paint yet, but if we at least got the primer up, maybe it'll calm it down and chill it out for us a little bit in this room. So, and then we're gonna organize that disgusting entertainment center. I really am happy with where I live. I just want y'all to know. I sound very discontent, but organization is key when you've got a small house and lots of kids. So that's what we're gonna work on. Oh, the other thing we're gonna work on today is switching over to cloth diapers. Again, I really should be happy. I'm going to try to save money because currently, um, I think we're spending $20 a week on diapers. Okay, that's a lot of money. It's too much money. So uh, Farmer Hubs put up a clothesline for me and the girls just brought in all my cloth diapers because at one time in my life, I did try to do that. Uh, until illness took over and we went back to disposable and then once you go back to disposable it's like you just never want to go back to the cloth but we're going to because we're trying to save money we're trying to be frugal and we'd rather put our money towards uh, farm stuff than something a kid can poop in so I will show you that process maybe later once I get it all set up and the men are gonna work on building some more chicken tractors and I will show you that too all right we'll see you in a bit to show you the bathroom. I can't remember if I explained, so I'm gonna do it anyways. When we moved into this house, we have two bathrooms. We still have two bathrooms, but one bathroom has a leaky faucet in the tub, so we are all sharing one bathroom. So with 11 of us um, sharing a bathroom, it can get quite disgusting. So it's really important for me that we keep up on the cleaning. So I say so a lot, don't I? You learn a lot through doing YouTube videos about yourself. Anyway, what I do is one of my kids comes and cleans the bathroom about three times, preferably four times a week. And then I try, she, what she does is she sweeps, she cleans the toilet, she cleans the sinks and the faucets, wipes down the counters, takes out the trash, um, takes the laundry to the laundry room, and that's about it. And then I come in, um, every two weeks to a month, depending on my ability to get myself in here, and I do the deep cleaning. I scrub the walls, I scrub the bath and the shower. I didn't have to do that today because I actually had my boys get in and scrub it pretty good for me this week, um, but I'll do that. I will scrub top to bottom on walls, scrub the floors. Um, I don't do a mop with this. I get on my hands and knees and get it done. Again, there's 11 of us in here and we can make it quite disgusting really quickly. So um, I scrub the cupboards, I'll clean the mirrors, clean the lights, what else? Light switches, the door, scrub that door because again, all those little toddler hands and even teenager hands on that door, it gets disgusting really quickly. Scrubbing the toilet's huge. I normally use a rag when I'm cleaning, but not the body. I use paper towels, and I um, because it's disgusting, and I don't like I don't like I don't like potty gross mess. So that's why switching to cloth diapers is um, challenging on my humility. But God's doing a work in me as always, and that's okay. It saves us money. I think I mentioned before. Right now we are spending about twenty dollars a week in diapers. Twenty dollars. That's a week, not a month. A week. So. That's a lot of money. So I have the cloth already, so I'm trying to be frugal and do my part as a wife, as one who wants to save money for our family. I would much rather spend that uh, 80 to $100 a month that I'm spending on diapers. I'd rather much, much rather spend that on farm stuff. Get a new animal, maybe another baby animal, not a human baby, but a baby animal. So 
I will turn you around. I'll show you my bathroom. Keeping it humble, keeping it real. It is the ugly yellow again, but that's okay. One day it'll be pretty. So here we go. So Tiny, I have to back out of the bathroom in order to give you a clear shot of where, what we're walking into. All right, so I'm walking in. We have double sinks. Again, most of us share this bathroom. So like I said, I scrub everything down. I even scrubbed up there because you know, when you brush your teeth, it's amazing how far that splatter will go when you're a little kid. I scrub the cupboards, the floors, old, um, old floors, but they come pretty clean, so that's nice. And I here is the toilet area. Scrub the toilet and the tub, the corner cabinet, and here is where all the good action's gonna happen soon. All right, I'm starting today, so um, pray for me. This is the changing table I bought at an Amish auction. I was super excited because I got this thing for five bucks. And here are all my cloth diapers that I've already had. Here are the liners. So I'll show you how it goes. You take a liner, pop it up there, and you take a cloth diaper. So there's one or two ways you can do it. You can either, oops, let me see if I can back up, prep ahead of time. I already have one prepped. You can prep ahead of time and take your liner. Nope, I lied. These are all in one cloth diapers. Can you see that? It's, it's all, <laughs> I'm not good with one hand. It's all attached. And so you don't really have to do anything. You wash all of this, you dump the whole entire thing, you dump the poop out, wash it out, and you wash the whole typer. There's all in one, which some people love. I've only tried them a few times, and I don't know. For some reason, they weren't my favorite. So I don't know. I'll use those, I guess, if I really am feeling lazy and don't want to do the two-step process. So here's the two-step process. You have your liner, and right here is your pocket. You stuff the liner in the pocket, and then snap the baby in the diaper. Um, like I said, I thought I already had. When On wash day, you can be organized and go ahead and just prep all of your diapers and get them ready. That way, when you come and change the baby, it's all ready to go and you don't have to sit there and stuff your diaper. Or if you are uh, lazier than that, which tends to be me sometimes, or you're a procrastinator, which is definitely me, and you don't do the first process, a lot of times what I've done is I'll lay baby down, or lay diaper down, I will lay the liner just on top, I won't even stuff it, and then put the liner on the baby and I haven't had any catastrophes, I haven't had any leakage, so I think it works. Don't take me at my word, but I've done it and haven't had any issues thus far. So now let's walk over to the cleaning process, which is over here. Um, I know, look at, okay, so just take a look at my toilet section. Y'all might think it's messy but because I want my kids to be responsible and to um, make sure that they're changing the toilet paper when it runs out, making sure stuff gets in the trash, making sure that if there's a mess, they can grab the toilet cleaner and clean up their stinky mess or whatever mess they make, right then and there, no excuses. Now, if I were to have company over and this is my only bathroom, obviously I would pick all this up and make it clean and tidy. I mean, it's clean right now. There is no dirt, but it's just, it's got stuff. But it's to make it more accessible for my children to not have the excuses to not get the job clean. So anyways, um, that explains that. When I bring, after I'm done changing diaper, I'm gonna bring it over. And normally what we would do is you can see right back, back there, you can hook up a sprayer and which that's how we had it in Arizona and you just lift oh dear mercy so sorry lift toilet hold diaper hold sprayer spray junk off into toilet then you so easy and so handy this is my diaper pill that is your diaper liner and that you can just plop diapers everything's clean so I can do that you just 
plop your sprayed off diapers in there. A lot of times I will sprinkle um, baking soda on the bottom, not in the liner, but under the liner between the trash can and the liner. Um, kind of help with smell, but again, in Arizona, I didn't notice much of a smell. And then you just, there's that. There goes your diapers until you're ready. As you noticed, I don't have a sprayer yet, so. All right, since I don't have the sprayer, what I have to do in order to clean my diapers is do an old school style. I'm gonna do the swish and uh, dunk and swishy swish and flush that thing down the toilet. And then I can just place that diaper right in the dirty pail that I showed you. Um, if I am, so if I'm doing it the lazy way, like I said earlier, sometimes I do with just the liner, um, what I would do, this is clean, don't worry. What I would do is I would take this off and I would swish it in the potty, swish it around, hold tight, flush. And then if there's any residue on this, which a lot of times, if it's if it's a stinky diaper, a lot of times no residue even gets on this thing. And then you don't even have to swish it. You can just put it right in your dirty pail. But if there is some, you know, lovely chunks on here, you just swish it and flush it and you're good to go. And so I think that's it. That is my cloth diapering 101 thus far. So pray for me, I'm excited. I, you know, it's just, it's a journey in learning how to become frugal and pinch your pennies and save. And we could keep on buying disposables. That's not the issue. It's just that when you calculate how much we're spending every week, it puts a pit in your stomach because we could be we could be using that money elsewhere. And that's what we want to be doing. So pray our journey goes well. Uh, I forgot to tell you how we wash the diapers. All right. Once your diaper pail is full and it's your wash day, you're gonna take that green liner, or I take the green liner out of my can, and I take it over to the washing machine, and I just dump all those diapers right into the washing machine. Of course, I don't wash anything else with the diapers, so it's just diapers that you do. And then, and the liners, the, yeah, so you can do the liners and the diapers all together. Some do them separately, some people do it separately, but I haven't noticed an issue doing them all together. Um, but when I say I just don't add like clothes and other stuff with them, obviously that's gross because they're, they're soiled, they're rinsed, but they're soiled. So then I will just do one rinse cycle first, then I wash them. We use a homemade laundry soap here, so it's uh, all natural, it's not uh, harsh on your diapers, which uh, helps them just to kind of last longer. And then instead of drying them in the dryer, which you can do, and we've done before when we didn't have a clothesline, again, it just kind of deteriorates the diaper so they won't last as long. But we have a clothesline now that Hub's put up. So I will take the diapers from the washing machine out to dry. And again, that sun, um, cooking those diapers, drying them up, it just sanitizes everything. And so makes your diapers all ready to go for the next round.